Get ice cream from Uber, rumors of an HTC Android Wear watch, and Google hires iPhone jailbreaker. This and more coming up next on Today in the World of Tech. Welcome to Digital Tech Thoughts, where we share our thoughts on tech. My name is Bryson, and this is Today in the World of Tech for July 18th, 2014. Let's get started. Apple's upcoming smartphone, the iPhone 6, is set to start production soon. Apple said is said to release this in September, a 5.7 and a 5.5 inch model. It said that the 4.7 inch model is going to start later this year, and the larger 5.5 inch model is having some production issues, but it will begin production in August. Based on Apple's track record, we should see the first iPhone 6 this fall. An Android Wear was launched three weeks ago, and only two watches, excluding the Moto 360, another watch is on the way. Thanks to a trusted leaker at Evlix, the first picture of the HTC Android Wear device is live. From the picture, you can see that there is a card on the screen. Those were added by at Evlix and should not be there at launch of the production. We cannot confirm if this is real or not. Stay tuned. Chrome OS is receiving an update, a material design update actually, in the upcoming weeks or months. We can see based on these images that it will use some of Chrome's mobile design on the desktop version. We are also waiting for Chrome OS to update with Android app support. We heard about this at first at Google's annual developer conference, Google I.O. We can see that Chrome OS is doing and getting some major updates very soon. Yesterday we got the first image of the Nvidia Shield tablet, but now we have the specs and more thanks to video cards. We know that we're going to get a standalone tablet with an optional controller. Specs wise, the tablet is going to be an 8 inch screen with 1080p resolution as well as a Tegra K1 processor and Nvidia's Unreal Engine 4. It's going to cost $299 to $399, remember this is just a rumor. Now for some official news. Google has hired George Hotz. At age 17, Hotz was the first person to jailbreak the iPhone back in 2007. He will be joining the Project Zero group at Google. Project Zero is a group that is part of elite hackers and will find flaws in Google's system. Haas previously, previously has been charged from Sony for hacking the PS3. Looks like Google knows what to do with hackers. In other Google news, Google has addressed that Chrome is for Windows is killing your battery and that they are going to fix this as soon as possible. It took Google a long time to address that there was a problem but never late than ever. Another way to improve your battery life is to download the 64-bit version of Chrome if your computer supports it. This will maximize your processor usage leading to a better battery life. No word when this update will take place. Amazon shows off their Fire Phone in the first televised ad so far. The commercial didn't emphasize on the phone but the Amazon Prime. Amazon neglected to talk about Firefly or Mayday but chose to talk about the feature of Amazon Prime. If you are interested, the Amazon phone is in the description below and the Amazon phone is only available for AT&T customers. Yesterday we heard that Amazon was testing Kindle Unlimited and all you can read subscription service. Today, Amazon officially announced Kindle Unlimited. There are 600,000 books to read for Kindle owners, as well as 2,000 audiobooks. This is only available for US customers and it will cost $99 a month. There are others all you can read book services out there, but looks like Amazon is going to take the lead. Netflix is testing out a private mode. Private mode will let you watch to your liking, but it won't save what you watch as well as give you recommendations about shows or movies. This is still in the testing phases, but it should reach homes in the near future. Famous taxi service company Uber is selling ice cream. Uber does this once a year and they have expanded a lot since last year. Last year, on only 33 cities had Uber. This year, Uber has ice cream trucks at over 144 cities. To get your ice cream on demand, go to the Uber application on your smartphone and get some ice cream. Prices may vary based on location. Microsoft is offering up to $100 off when you trade in your Xbox 360 for an Xbox One. Prices may vary based on the condition of the Xbox 360. You can do this at any Microsoft store. For our biggest story of the day, Google is going to make some changes to Google Play services. It, it looks like apps with in-app purchases, mostly games, will not be considered free apps. This is going to affect EU customers, but Google might make this an international update. Apple is also on board with this different idea. Instead of recategorizing applications, they will fix this problem with iOS 8 update, which gives parents more controls. Thanks for watching Digital Tech Thoughts, where we share our thoughts on tech. And if you want to get your daily dose of tech news, reviews, or how-tos, subscribe below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends 
Once again, thanks for watching and have a nice day.